take you a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Where are we going? Where are we going? Are you going to the top, to the tippy tippy top? top? First, just uh, so you understand what we're looking at here. This is live, and you're looking it's at two a sexy lake you got there. Earlier of them running the blue and red beam, beam one and beam two, very high. I feel like you two have two arms down, and four hour, legs. Hour, That's what I'm seeing. Here, and it was actually one before that. And then the black is that about right? Two, two arms and four legs. Power. Just went ape shit. You flew onto my skirt and then you ran up all over both of me, my arms. You scared me, you went so fast. You're jumping, flying around. Well, you don't have wings yet, do you? A little bit, a little bit. All right, I'm gonna stop because you, you got aggressive almost, it seemed like a little bit. I'm just not used to that kind of activity from you. I see your wings. I see them, girl. Now you ready to dance with me? You dance better than I do. Keep going.
trying to see your face, but you won't let me. You're looking at me though. Hi. Can you turn your head a little bit? Let's turn it a little bit so I can see you. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to dance? No? Yeah? Smoke the ball? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Press me because I like somebody. That's on them. They're going to harass me. Uh, I smoke like a little bit, okay? Are you all right? That I guess used to be cool with James. <sighs> what are we going to do with you? Uh, anyway, James, good luck to you. I'm You're not, not in a bad mood, are you? You're right? about to not be. Um, we're gonna get you feeling so good. I talk to you. We're gonna get you feeling fine. Very real thing. That's not it. You wanna feel it's fine? This seems like this is right. real. How many minutes? Oh, it's only a 12 minute video. I thought this one, I thought this video was way longer. Alright. So in Pasco County, Florida, you know the places I always call the uh, gateway to the mouth of hell. Pasco County one of the most pristine examples that I show people whenever somebody tries to make the argument to me that white people are superior to other races. Pasco County has a stunningly high uh, demographic as far as white people go. Hello. I mean, it is one of the whitest counties in all of Florida. It is also one oh, of the worst places in Florida. Good. Newport Ritchie, Holiday. I see your wings are coming uh, on. Very, fuck is this not muted, man? Mm -hmm. My phone hasn't stopped yeah. today, man. You're a beautiful, Jesus beautiful Christ. baby. I was trying to take a little nap earlier somewhere? and it just fucking kept going Where off. Where are you going? Show us. Shut up. Do not disturb. I'm going to go get my water. Fuck. I'll smoke some more of this oh, bowl. Pick up the kid. Pick up the kid. Yeah, you got a good pump. And I brought you some water in the cap. That's a cap from my bo from my water bottle. Some fresh cold water. We need it. It's too hot. Don't you think? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You want to dance, huh? Can we turn the music on for you? Pasco County Sheriff's Office selects right, individuals gonna, to target and harass in an attempt to force them out of the county. You, okay, here we go. The allegations charging First Lieutenant Soto with mock misconduct and moral or professional dereliction were found to be unsubstantiated. So, victory. For those of you holding out on this, hello, Kitty Pie. Good morning. Happy Friday. It's Friday again. Already, somehow. Here we go. You're That's just a cute little thing. thing. They got the low hanging fruit with this. Yeah, you are. Hi. Hey. Good scared. morning, baby. <laughs> That's Nino. <laughs> I got a sore throat. Oh, my God. Ow. How do you like it now? You're just going crazy with that leg. Trying to find a spot. To collapse, electricity, electricity rationing, heating regulation, skyrocketing unemployment, wave of insolvencies lead to the collapse of the that economy works. and total failure of a functioning state. You guys love to hang upside down, huh? Well, that's coming. <laughs> it's all coming. Yes. All right. Yes, baby. Well, would you like US to smoke a morning bowl? UK nuclear submarines rendezvous in Scotland. One for yes. No. That was definitely one for yes. Alright, I'll be right back. Little baby boy. You riding the unicorn? You riding the unicorn? You got a giant mushroom? I'm moving at you.
Ooh, let's go to the castle. Eat some mushrooms. Ride some more unicorns. Swim with the ducks. This what are you up to? Are you getting a drink? Or are you shipwrecked? Alright, well you look like you're, you've got it under control. I'm not gonna... Look at you though. And then there's a girl up in here. Yes. Yes, Ricardo is in the tree. Three times your size. So watch yourself. Watch yourself. Now what? Huh? You're pretty cute. Yes, yeah. All right. we'll see what happens. Fed the koi fish, and he, uh, the media said he poured too much food into the koi fish pond, even though I don't think he did. Anyway, it, it's uh, it's very sad because he was he was a good ally for Trump uh, during the administration, a uh, good uh, good responsible leader, and uh, treated the United States rather well. And it's that's very sad to see. I, you I have better very run. Little more to say on it, other than. Other than what it means beyond Japan and what it means beyond Abe, what it means for all get of us too. at a time where we're facing such political uncertainty and we feel like the the institutions are losing our trust and the world order is spiraling out of control, it is especially scary that a prime minister would be assassinated. And it's even more especially scary that a, pri that a former prime minister would be assassinated. I looked away for a second and you leapt really into no the pond and got the ant. Really opens up I was barely huge, even uh, gone for a second. Who could be in danger? Speaking mm. of strange events happening with shadowy cabals and assassins and secret societies and all sorts of nefarious conspiracies, do you know about the Georgia Guidestones? Have you ever heard about the Georgia Guidestones? I had heard about them, but until just a couple of days ago, I had kind of forgotten about them because the Georgia Guidestones are this bizarre Stonehenge like structure that was erected in the late 1970s in Georgia, and no one really knows who was behind it. And then a couple of days ago, they got blown up, and we don't know who blew them up. So it, this was erected in 1979, and the reason people are, are interested in the Georgia Guidestones is because it seems kind of occult, it seems kind of conspiratorial, new world ordering. Let me tell you how much control we got. This entire system can be bypassed by the people. All it takes is knowledge. All it takes is wisdom. If everybody oh, you was sweet little Kermy. Right what you doing? Check this out. And each what you doing, boy? If everybody was to unite. Babel. Trust funds. Babel, you're going to catch some ants in there? They could be their own banks. Everybody like Kermy did? Their own banks. All they have to do is be You can do it. Together. Invest in each other. Purchase gold and silver, right? Ooh. Let me show you how real it is. Purchase gold and silver, right? Give the money back to the community. And guess what? You didn't just bypass. You didn't bypass the world bankers. You didn't bypass the international banking. Like, and guess what? The knowledge is out there. The knowledge is out there. They're afraid, man. Jimmy James, thank you for the $25 contribution. Says greetings from Scotland. Just a wise message to say. Thank you, brother New Breed. Never stop what you do. All praises to the most high. Thank you, brother, all the way from Scotland. Worldwide to the twelve. Brother New Breed. No, brother, all the way from Scotland. I'm giving you a lesson. Thank you for supporting this work, brother. 
Real talk. Real talk. Like they already know, man. That they already this is know. Spiritual warfare. Also, it is gentlemen, spiritual war. What's going to happen because of the atmospheric changes and the hydron collider? What has it done? What has it done? It's going to create more possessions. More possessions. I'm talking about sleep paralysis is going to be on the rise. Are you checking um, out, Babel? There's going to be a lot of people who you want to make the babies with the Babel? Um, ailments that they never experienced. Ooh. I'm talking about what's in their bodies. And it's all going to be. Babel going to make the, the babies. It's all going gonna to make the, the babies. Sin. Don't get your head eaten off. Don't get decapitated. You know You're going to have to get up to what be a better runner. Okay? You got to know how to get away fast. But not for those who or it's just going to bite your head off. Only people who All right? should be afraid. Yeah. But of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Exactly. The most high God has overcame this world. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And their weapons are carnal. Man, I'm telling you, the same way, the same way the Lord destroyed the Georgia Godstones in an explosion is the same way that he's going to destroy that hydron collider. It's the same way he's going to destroy the hydron collider. And y'all got to understand, just because they tell you they launch something, that don't even necessarily mean it's true. Listen, let me say this again. That's a little boy, Kermy. And the father of all lies. Just because they told you they launched something Ooh. doesn't make it true. Where'd that girl Ladies go? Ladies and gentlemen, for years we thought they've been launching spaceships into the sky. Come to find out they're actually not. Mm. There's, mm -hmm. there's footage coming out from the 60s, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, these so-called astronauts sliding off into different the different places of, of the hubs. Baby. Showing that they're not actually even going into space. Sweet and little baby. And rocket ships are nothing but props. Hollywood props. You have a little... And then nobody's actually you have a suitor. This is this is information I want you to research this. Just because they say they're doing something don't mean they're doing it. They could be well, not right now. Totally with other different. stuff right now. Totally different. Don't know what CERN is attempting to do. It's evident though that they're trying to cultivate dark matter. They're trying to pull a strange of things. They're trying to pull they're a strange of things. That's new breed. That's what they that's what they're attempting to do. And you know what? Here's the crazy part. There's a crazy part. The righteous will be able to see. It. I'm talking about the righteous will be able to see the spirits. And this is why I'm telling y'all, don't be afraid. Like, don't be afraid. The Lord is going to give you eyes to see. The Lord is going to Are you going to peek? Things, like, uh, to the point where you can be driving down the street because peak. of the atmospheric changes, right? Hey, baby boy. boy. Hey, baby boy. You can put something in that building. We need to smoke that another bowl. Up. Because my cough isn't that deep you enough. Enter that place. The Lord, like literally, or you'll be walking the streets and you'll see certain things out your peripheral vision. Out your peripheral. You, like, yo, it's some demonic activity taking place. Mm. Listen, those who you can't see, they won't see. That's right. Yep. It's facts. Somebody said they can't get through the ozone layer. 100. Real talk, they try. Oh, real talk, yeah, baby. Got our back. He's going to give us certain intuition. All right, we're trying to... I'll be back, guys. Hold on. Babo. Guess what? The same technology you're trying to use to destroy us, it got traces of our melanin in it. Because we hey, we was there from the beginning. It got traces of our melanin in it, and that's why it's going to fight back. So some of the devices y'all going to use, y'all going to uh, try to use against us, the powers that be, they're going to blow up in your damn face. Because of our melanin. Our melanin is going to fight for us. It's in your technology. You can't do nothing on this planet without us. <laughs> but you want to destroy us. Babo. Why? They can't do nothing on this planet without us but want to destroy us. Ain't that crazy? Babo. <laughs> yep, they're going to blow up in their face just like the Georgia Godstones blew the Babo, behave blew yourself. The off that sucker, didn't they? Blew the limbs off that sucker. Yep. All you Masons who are watching us, let me put this out here. There's going to come a time where the Lord level us up so much, we're going to be able to pierce through your soul just by looking at you. We're going to be able to pierce through your soul.
we gonna be like Cyclops. Yeah, it's gonna get to the point we take our sunglasses off and look through you gang stalkers, y'all gonna have heart attacks. I proclaim that y'all gonna drop dead right in front of us. We gonna pierce through your souls like Cyclops, straight like that. We the real X-Men. Yeah, whole time we the real X-Men. We ain't afraid of y'all. All them intimidation tactics, you can't do a damn thing to us. Trying to hold the children of the light back. Closing doors of opportunities. Treating us unfairly. Man, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going to walk off the face of the planet. Even when we gone, our seeds going to live on. And you ain't going to be able to do nothing with them. Because those who are chosen, those who are righteous, they're going to raise children that are out of this world. That's true. They're going to raise children that are out of this world. Wow, look, it's raining. Raining right now. I got to head out. But it is what it is, y'all. Shalom and peace. Shalom and peace. Yeah. You're on the castle. You're on the rainbow uh, unicorn castle. I have so much editing to do. I'm not going to stay, but I want to say hi and see if you want to smoke a bowl. Do you? Yes? Yes? Okay, hold on. Good morning, sunshine. I won't bug you. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, Barracuda. You're so cute.